Just before we get started, if you like science and space themed videos, be sure to check out Eric Malachite's new channel, Science Get. Eric wrote the script for today's video on his channel. He talks about a whole lot of sciencey stuff. There's a link below. Since the Wright brothers created the first motor-operated airplane, many countries throughout the world have commandeered that technology and attempted to push it to its absolute limits. This has resulted in some deadly but admittedly cool aircraft over the last century or so, and plenty of them were completely hidden from the public eye through much of their operation. We've talked a bit about secret airplanes before, and today we learn that, well, sometimes people are really, really bad at keeping things secret. Number 10. Russian Tu-142 Maritime Reconnaissance Aircraft The Russian Tu-142 Maritime Reconnaissance Aircraft is of the same family of aircraft as the Tu-95 and the Tu-95RC, and was designed to combat submarines in the 1960s. The spy plane is still in use, too. In 2020, two Tu-142Ss were intercepted near Alaska. They were in the middle of a 12-hour training mission that probably didn't lead to the outbreak of World War III, especially if you're watching this video now. Among its armaments and features, the Tu-142 is equipped with new caution radar, avionics, and anti-submarine measures that are specifically designed to be able to find submarines and destroy them while they're still submerged. The aircraft is also plenty capable of carrying out long-range maritime reconnaissance, I mean, it's kind of in the name, isn't it, as well as aiming and search and rescue missions. Number nine, Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker. The Su-27 Flanker is another Russian aircraft that has long since been declared Classified. But since its introduction in the mid-1980s and use up until the fall of the Soviet Union, it's still used throughout Angola, China, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, Russia, Ukraine, Uzbekistan, Vietnam, and even the US and China, though the Chinese variant is called the F-11. The plane is constructed out of titanium and high-strength aluminium alloys. It has a sleek curvature to its hull, and it kind of looks like a raven in flight, except for the wing shape. It's outfitted with air-to-air -air missiles with infrared homing capabilities, a 30mm GSH-301 gun, with 150 rounds of ammunition, and a host of other missiles, rockets, and bombs. More modern versions of this plane feature a new electronic countermeasures suite, including radar warnings, chaff, and infrared decoy dispensers, as well as active multi-mode jammer fixed in the wingtip pods. It's one of the most used aircraft in the world, and there's a good reason for that. It's cool and extremely versatile. Number 8. Boeing F-15EX With a naming convention like a mid-generation console refresh, the F-15EX is a serious improvement over the original F-15, featuring fly-by-wire technology, which before it was declassified caused quite the uptick in UFO sightings, and boasts the fastest mission computer of any craft of the current generation. It's also got two new weapon stations, a new electronic warfare suite, advanced radar, and improved durability. Fly-by-wire basically replaces manual flight controls with an electronic interface, allowing for flight maneuvers that were totally unthinkable in older generation aircraft. Overall, the new F-15EX is chock full of new tech and weapons while maintaining the iconic look of the original design, which has never ceased to be cool. They're also cheaper to repair than the F-35 from Lockheed Martin. Number 7. Lockheed RQ-170 Sentinel Speaking of Lockheed Martin, their RQ-170 Sentinel is nicknamed the Beast of Kandahar for a reason. It is the same triangular shape as a B-2 stealth bomber, but even though it looks so familiar, there isn't much known about what this thing is capable of. The one thing we do know is that it's not operated by a human, and it's most likely a high-altitude stealth machine, and one that is suspected to have played a role in the assassination of Osama bin Laden, by the way. Still, from what we do know about the RQ-170 is that it's not quite as capable in the stealth department as the B-2. Number 6. Hongdu GJ-11 Sharpsword Long ago, in the faraway year of 2019, China unveiled a new stealth drone aircraft that looks like the love child of a B-2 stealth bomber and a stingray. It's supposed to be capable of sneaking deep into enemy territory and unleashing a barrage of weapons with more weapons inside those weapons, like some sort of deadly Russian nesting doll, and it could apparently do all of this without being detected. I mean, until the bombs land on whoever they're targeting and destroy them with the bombs in bombs thing. But unlike the Lockheed RQ-170, this is not a small drone. The GJ-11 is comparable in size to the B-2 and is likely to be the final product of the Sharp Sword prototype originally tested back in 2013. Not only is it a cool design, but with a name like Sharp Sword, it's definitely one of the more interesting crafts in this video. Number 5. Boeing YF-118G Bird of Prey 
The Boeing YF-118G is like something right out of science fiction. It's nicknamed the bird of prey, some say because of its gull-shaped wings, but we think it's because it looks like a Klingon bird of prey, as seen in Star Trek. Even though the bird of prey was officially declassified, we still don't know much about what's inside her, as many of the components and systems at work in her design are being used in current top secret projects. But one thing that is clear is that the YF-118G is an attempt to evolve stealth technology. If you compare this aircraft with the Nighthawk, there is a bit of a resemblance in the design language. Through its unique design, it's meant to avoid radar, infrared, acoustic, and visual signatures so that other aircraft will have a much tougher time attempting to detect it. It also looks really cool. But it is rumored to be a flawed prototype. $67 million might sound like a lot, but it's a tight budget for the development of a brand new state-of-the-art stealth aircraft aircraft, and that limitation forced the team building her to focus on proving the Bird of Prey's concept before adding quality of life improvements like better controls. That's right, the cockpit of this thing is likely to be fairly stripped down and only outfitted with the most rudimentary of systems. And that's probably why it's sitting in a museum right now. Number 4. Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon The Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon is China's flagship stealth fighter, and it packs a belly full of murder. The profile is sleek, yet angular and threatening. It even kind of looks like a dragon, which is probably where it gets its name from, and yes, the name is part of the reason for why it's on this list. But you probably have to admit that it does look pretty cool. Since its unveiling, military and aircraft enthusiasts have been asking how the Mighty Dragon measures up to the US's far more advanced fighters like the F-35 or the F-22. There is some doubt as to what might happen if these aircraft were ever to face off, but one thing is certain. The PL-15 missiles that the Mighty Dragon is packing in its belly have a range of 300 kilometers, putting them in the top echelon of air-to-air -air missiles in all of Europe, and its American counterparts apparently only have a range of 180 kilometers. But that's not all. The Dragon also features sophisticated stealth and sensor technology to make it extremely hard to hit at close range. Number three, Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider. All right, we take it back. This is what a console refresh looks like. The B-21 was said to have a target test date in mid-2022, and Bo reports Northrop Grumman has hit pretty hard by the pandemic and was forced to move their staff to the completion of the B-21. The Raider is pretty smooth looking though, at least from the concept drawings and specs. She resembles the B-2, such a popular design, but has a much smoother appearance. She's designed as a countermeasure to modern air defense threats like Russian S-400 surface-to-air missiles and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. The Raider will also be fully capable of delivering precision guidance nuclear weapons and carrying out regular missions. Let's hope it never has to use the nukes. Number two, Aurora Spy Plane. This next one is pretty cool, if for nothing other than the fact that it remained in operation from 1993 to 2018 in a veil of complete secrecy. Oh, and it was supposedly the fastest aircraft in the world and also a spy plane. Aerospace journalism outlets have been talking about this thing for more than a decade, but now it's being described as a manned strategic reconnaissance aircraft powered by a variable cycle ramjet capable of operating at speeds and altitudes obtained by other aircraft. While the US has admitted to using this plane in the past, there is no telling if Aurora is still being used now. Though if she's advanced as the reports claim, we guess that it wouldn't really make sense to shut her down. Pentagon spokesperson Luke Mantira has said that Aurora's classification is RS-85, which grew out of Project Dolus in the early 1980s. Mantira also said that the declassification of Aurora would more than likely mean it was due to be removed from service. There isn't much more to say, since the technical specifications haven't been revealed, but no matter what Aurora looks like, Oh, she's still pretty cool. Number one, top secret sixth gen fighter. It might not matter if B-21 Raider ever gets finished because the US has already tested a secret sixth generation fighter that is rumored to be both hypersonic and completely untraceable. It's also new and super top secret, which makes it pretty cool in our book. Though because of that secrecy, there isn't much information floating about regarding this new craft. But we do know that she's part of the next generation air dominance program. She's supposed to be outfitted with a network of advanced sensors and weapons that would be able to counter many of the advances made by other countries, such as China. The craft was also designed completely digitally, allowing the team to bypass the regular manufacturing process, giving developers more flexibility in design and the ability to change blueprints on a whim. This all sounds pretty cool, but the military has failed to commit on just how many prototypes of this 6th gen aircraft might already be in existence, but promises that they've broken records and will shock the world when they're finally revealed. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.